Hey guys, in our last video segment, we showed you how you can totally upgrade the look of your vanity mirror in less than 45 minutes. Here we want to show you how you can add a really cool art niche for less than $30 in just a few hours of your time. So let's take a look at how you go about doing that. So our art niche location was previously a mirrored medicine cabinet, a really boring looking medicine cabinet that we never used. So we want to spice it up and uh, see how we can take this uh, hole in the wall now after removing the, the medicine cabinet and make it something interesting and, and usable. So we want to show you how to go from this ugly hole in the wall here from our previous medicine cabinet to a really nice uh, high-end look in our bathroom with a, a glass tiled uh, art niche where we can place art or any other items you might need in your bathroom. So keep in mind this art niche that we're creating, you can use this, you can do this anywhere in your house. The only thing to think about is you need uh, an open space in the wall. You don't need any insulation in there. Um, if it's an outside wall and you've got insulation that's going to be in the way, that's not good. The other thing to think about is mechanicals. Just make sure you don't have to relocate pipes and wiring and, and ducts. In that case, it gets expensive. Um, you know, if you don't have any of that in the way, then we can, cre we can really uh, create this art niche for $30 or less. So our art niche is going to be 12 inches wide by 23 inches high, which is perfect because the uh, the tile comes in sheets applied to a mat that are 12 by 12. So we just need two of those for our space. We're also going to need six feet of one by four for the extension jams for the sides of the art niche, and then we're going to need six feet of one by two for the face frame trim. So the first thing we do is apply the uh, tile adhesive with a V-notch trowel at a 45 degree angle to the plane where the tile is going. Make sure you use a white tile adhesive uh, since we're using a translucent tile. We don't want the color of the adhesive to change the look of the tile. So now we apply the tile mats to the adhesive and just make sure everything's level uh, and straight in the opening. Because these tile sheets come with a staggered edge so you can place them next to each other, um, we've, got to, we've got to cut some tiles to fill those spots so we can have a straight edge at the, at the side. So uh, we're going to use our wet saw with a special diamond blade for cutting glass tile and uh, cut those so that we can fill that edge and, and fill up the space. So we removed three rows of tile off of one of our sheets uh, so it would fit our space so we can use those extra tiles to uh, cut for the edges. So as you're positioning your tile, make sure you've got less than three quarters of an inch uh, around the sides of the tile, just because that's what the thickness is of our extension jam, our one by three is three quarter inch thick. So we wanna make sure we've got tile all the way up to them. So now we wanna carefully remove any adhesive that's on the face of the tiles and wait 24 hours before we grout. You wanna make sure you use a non-sanded grout so we don't scratch the face of the tiles. They're nice and uh, smooth surface. We don't want the sand in the grout to scratch it. So use a non-sanded grout. So you work the grout into the joints, working at a 45 degree angle, and then make sure we get all the uh, excess off the face of the tile and then let it set up before we wipe it with the sponge. Once the grout starts to set up in the joints, we can take a wet sponge or a mildly damp sponge and wipe off all the excess. Be careful not to wipe the grout out of the joints. After the grout has set up, I go back with a towel and just wipe off the face and, and buff out anything that's left, any residue on the face of the tiles. Now we can start applying the jams to the art niche. Uh, make sure your 1x4s are going to need to be ripped down or cut down to fit the space from the dimension from the face of the tile to the outer edge of the drywall. We want it to be exactly that width. And obviously that's assuming you have a 2x4 wall. We're using a high strength glue uh, that comes out of a caulk gun to hold uh, both the extension jams and the face frame trim in place. Uh, that way we don't have any actual nail holes. So we work our way around the face frame trim and uh, measuring carefully, measuring twice, cutting and gluing into place. Just another note, we did pre-paint the trim and the extension jam so it would be easier for us uh, so we wouldn't have to cut in after the fact. We also painted around the opening so we wouldn't have to cut in the wall uh, at the trim. So now we finish up our wall paint and uh, we've got a great looking art niche. The other thing you might want to do is caulk 
the the jam of the art niche to the the tile just be careful when you do it not to get sloppy uh, same thing with the uh, joints and the trim on the face of the uh, of the art niche that makes it a little more professional but if you do that you're also probably going to want to go back and and touch up the paint there's also nothing stopping you from adding shelves to this art niche. If you decide you want shelves to go across, um, that's pretty easy to do with a couple of screws, um, you know, just cutting more extension jam material and placing it where you want it. So for about 30 bucks and a few hours of our time, we've got a great looking focal point in our new bathroom. So we went from a boring old uh, mirrored medicine cabinet uh, that really does nothing for our bathroom from a look standpoint to a really cool looking art niche that, that adds some interest to the space.